Hi all, welcome to this FIFA 21 Legoon predictions, starting off with Angers. Now Legoon's a bit annoying because obviously they, when they ended their season it was 10 games left and some teams league position might kind of be skewed in a sense because of how it might have finished but we'll see how it goes and we'll try and get our predictions as best as we can from here so as much as always be awesome sub to channel if you're new follow me on twitter at gs legend all the links are down below for the the channel and social media links as always comment down below who you think is likely for an upgrade downgrade from legoon in general remember to check out all the other um, links so far we've got prem and uh, bundesliga up so plenty to get your uh, teeth into but on Jairs, we'll get into it and we will take it from there. So Bern, Bernardoni, uh, 77 rated for him. Uh, I suspect that's what he will stay. Um, not really convinced that an upgrade or a downgrade is on course for him. Thomas up one. Uh, the thing with on Jairs, even though defensively they weren't too shabby, it's like trying to convince yourself where all the upgrades come. Um, Thomas, probably just minor upgrades, I suspect, looking at maybe say defending and physical. He did bag an inform, whether that makes a difference or not, is going to be hard to see. On to Bamba, um, Silver, right back, kept as he is. Um, nothing really convincing me to upgrade him or downgrade him, but I suppose that's going to be proof in the pudding, obviously, at the same time. it's as the usual factor, it's like game time and all that kind of factor as well. Triori, uh, just kept as he is, not convinced to upgrade or downgrade in any shape or form. Um, Manku Mansua, I apologize if I mispronounced that. I put him up one half decent season. Um, like with um, Thomas, I suspect it's probably just going to be a defensive and physical boost on him. Fulgini um, up one. Um, he had a moments card which was a cam. Obviously that was team of the week moments are non performance like that's just based on a previous team of the week. But for Fulgini in general though he does deserve an upgrade of plus one and probably just plus one across um if we say shooting passing and dribbling. Uh, Santa Maria, um, probably the best player in the team, not by say, in rate wise it's probably by some margin when you look at it in the end, but uh, Santa Maria up one um, from his FIFA 20 card. I've just put him plus one across all stats just to kind of make it a bit more complete. Then Mangani just kept as he is, nothing really convinced me to upgrade him or downgrade him. Then Capel used to be a um, gold I'm sure, I'm sure it was like a 75 or 76 gold I think it was like last year. Um, put him back up one, um, probably just a general increase of stats, where he stays as a rare though would be a different matter but I feel he's had a good enough season to merit an upgrade. Aluli up two definitely deserves an upgrade and uh, definitely deserves going to a gold um, for his stats probably um, expect shooting to see the most significant boost but obviously when we do like plus two try and give everything like plus two with say uh, pace and defending plus one Bahokin up one probably doing just enough to get an upgrade as well if I'm honest, so fair play to him. Decent enough goal return that's convinced me. On to subs and reserves. This is where if you try to do the league SBC when it drops, I could find it to be a bit of a challenge. Um but it's like all teams not designed to be easy and also the team itself might see some improvements coming to the team even by the time the start of the season drops. Um, starting off with Petkovic, bronze goalie, usually the bronzes and the silvers, if they've not really been doing much, I generally keep as they are because I'm not convinced enough to kind of upgrade them, downgrade them, 
any of that kind of sorts as well. And I think Patel's like retired, I think, so that kind of, or he's left the club, I think, so that's one reason why um, he's not in this, because I think he would have been 74 silver anyway. I think Nuri going up three from a 64 to a 67, that is one upgrade deserved. Uh, so fair play to him. Dumbia staying as he is as a 67 rated left back. Pavlovich, I was really hoping, like this is when you maybe see someone going from a silver to a gold at the back. But uh, sadly staying most likely as he is. Um, mix of variables as usual, all the like, time and all that kind of good stuff. Dia, 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 not, apologies if I butchered that. Um, staying as he is most likely and being a 66 rated centre back. One upgrade that is um, quite a good jump in a sense is Pierre Lage going from a over 73 to a gold 75. I suspect he would stay as rare because of Nation League. So that would help for SBCs, not just for League but Nation wise as well. So fair play to Pierre, P sorry, Pereira Lage even. Get can't get my names done. Bobby John staying as he is as a 72 rated um, centre mid. Same for Kula Dali. Uh, nothing was convincing me to upgrade him, downgrade him, or any of that shape or form. Manzala, um, another one that stays as he is. Vutel's even at the bottom. It shows what I paid attention to there. Um, but yeah, Vutel staying as he is. Nothing to upgrade or downgrade him. Uh, Two few pause if I butchered that um upgrade of one from a seventy five to a seventy six and then Casimir Ninga who had a inform quite early in FIFA actually I think it was only the first it was eight to ten weeks. Um however his form in general, game time, injuries I think, all the other variables sadly does not merit an upgrade or even a downgrade for that matter. You could even consider a downgrade on them if you really wanted but um, not to be obviously. Um, I think our squad, uh, I'm not sure if they're still part of the team now but when I was making my notes like Pajo, Gualam, uh, Pelinaro, Pe Pelinar, sorry, Kanga, El Milali, uh, Letier, Two races. I think all these type players not like no longer play part of the team, and, and if any of the youngsters like CC or Mandrea, that if they're still part of the team, that could be a factor as well. But for me, this is where I feel the team will go. Um, I expect Angers to be quite expensive from a league SBC view because if they don't get transfers in in the gold department then especially at the back it's going to be expensive but you can get away with, with Elijah suppose at left back uh, left mid if you've got two um, left mids put one at left back if it's a four at the back formation but this is where I'm going as you know I think Legion's a little bit harder to work buy as I said for upgrades, downgrades and stay the same but hopefully you find this useful folks. Let me know in the comments down below who deserves an upgrade, downgrade, all that good stuff. Smash likes always, sub to channel if you're new and I will catch you all later.